video that went viral, Chargers and Cowboys fans fighting with two men getting hit over the head with beer bottles. There's one of them there. In spite of the evidence, one of those men pleaded not guilty in the attack today. Attendance reporter Allison Ash explains why he says there's been a mix-up. 41-year-old Ramon Heredia wore an Argyle sweater to arraignment court. But in the video now seen around the world, he's the guy in the sleeveless white shirt seen here in the thick of things. The man who shot this video said he could tell things were about to get explosive after this tall guy in the white shirt became agitated. Heredia appears to try to calm him, but he goes around some cars and gets slapped by a woman. That's when a man who matched Heredia's description smashes a bottle over the tall guy's head. A split second later, a man standing next to Heredia gives the bottle treatment to another man. Police say this amounts to two clear cases of assault with a deadly weapon, and Deputy District Attorney Adam Gordon seemed to agree. I think, frankly, the video speaks for itself, so I think I'd probably do a pretty poor job compared to that. Before the hearing, Heredia told me he was blamed for hitting the wrong guy, but the prosecutor says the assault was charged properly, and we now know the name of the guy Heredia is accused of hitting is Joshua Zumwalt. And he's probably sorry he got wrapped up in this. <laughs> Believe it or not, that beer bottle is considered a deadly weapon. And if convicted here in court, Heredia faces up to four years in prison. From the Hall of Justice downtown, Allison Ash, 10 News. And police are still looking for the second man involved in that bottle smashing incident. If and when he's caught, he too will face assault with a deadly weapon.